Hey guys, I'm going to be teaching you a yoga sequence that I like to do when I have a bad back. So follow along if you're feeling kind of achy. It's bad weather, so this will be good. So we're going to start standing up in mountain position. You want to put your toes together, your arms up, and I'm going to put my hands in steeple position. Exhale and do a slight back bend. And now swan dive forward into prepare pose. Put your fingertips or your hands on the mat, and keep your back straight and look forward. Now exhale and go down into forward fold. If you don't hit your hands on the mat, it's fine. You can just hang down. Now go back into prepare pose and we're going to go into a twist. So Start by putting your left hand directly underneath you and you want to spiral your chest towards the right and lift up your right arm. And gaze at your hand. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Now you're going to release that and switch arms. Bring it up. Go back into prepare pose. Lower down forward fold. One more time. Okay, now let's go back into a seated position with your legs out in front of you. And we're going to go into seated forward fold. So lift your arms all the way up and reach, reach, reach as far as you can. And then drop down wherever you can your ankles, your knees or the mat in front of you, it's fine. When you're ready, you can start getting back up, lift your hands, and now we're gonna go in another twist. So I want you to take your left hand and put it on the outside of your right knee, and take your right hand and spiral it behind you and look over your right shoulder. You can push on your knee to make it a more of a deeper stretch. So this will get your lower back. When you're done, put your hands back up and then do the opposite side, right arm onto the outside of your left knee and left arm behind you. up back to seated position you put your hands behind you and do a slight back bend and now I want you to go on your forearms put your hands under your butt your fingers under your butt and you put your, keep your legs together you can either flex or point your toes we're going to go back into fish pose so what you want to do is release your head back so that the crown of your head is touching your mat Really open up your chest. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to lay down corpse pose. And we're going to de do a reclined spiral twist. So put your hands into a T and then lift up your left leg. Now spiral your left leg over to your right side and look at your left hand. Now lift your leg back up and switch legs. Right leg goes on to left side now. And every time you exhale, you can release your muscles, breathe, close your eyes. When you 
you're ready, put it back down, go into fourth position. Take a few deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, exhale. We're going to come into a comfortable seated position to do some neck stretches. So I'm just going to cross my legs. You can do whatever you want. And you can put your hands on your knees, you know, any hand position you want. Okay, so we're going to just do some neck rolls. And a good tip is to exhale when you're looking down and inhale when you're looking up. You can go as slow or as fast as you want to. Switch sides. Now we're going to do a little deeper stretch. So take your right hand and put it onto your left ear and hug your head so that your right ear is going up to your right shoulder. If you want to make it a little deeper, you can extend your left hand. Now we're going to switch left hand onto right ear. Okay, now we're going to go into tabletop position and get ready for some cat and cow poses. So we're going to start off in cow pose, so curl your feet under, push your belly down, lift your chest up, look up. And now we're going to exhale into cat pose, release your feet, curl your back, look under you. Exhale, go back into cow. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, cat. One more time. Exhale, cow. Inhale, cat. Now when you're done, you can go back into a neutral position. And we're going to push back into downward dog. So keep your feet, hips width distance, your arms, shoulders width distance. Look at your ankles. You can bend your knees however you want, roll your head. Anything's getting loosened up. Once you're ready, you can go into a plank position and then lower down all the way to your mat. Release your feet onto your mat. And we're gonna push up into baby cobra. So keep your feet down and just lift your chest up a little bit, nothing else. Inhale. Exhale. Don't have any tension in your butt muscles or anything, just a little lift, opening your chest. And when you're ready, you can inhale and go all the way into full cobra. Look up, put the bend in your back. And lastly, we're gonna push back onto our knees for child pose. Okay, we're done. I hope that was a quick little sequence to get your back in better condition. So keep doing this. Hope it helped and namaste.